my beauties how are we all doing welcome back today we're gonna be doing a little target haul I have not purchased many things just some drugstore favorites of mine that some of you guys might already know that I'm super in love with and I just wanted to like make this video just so you guys know what my recommendations are for some products from you know the drugstore or Target and so let's go ahead and jump into it I am still in love with the color pop I glitter mousse just so you guys know I can't stop like I feel like I'm gonna be wearing it in every single one of my videos for the next like month or so until I get tired of it I'm just kidding hopefully that's not gonna be the case but if you are interested in the color pop haul I will have it linked down below but um, for now let's go ahead and get into it Alright, so the first thing I kind of restocked on is dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo from the drugstore. I feel like it's such an amazing and pretty affordable dry shampoo. It gives me texture. It gives me volume. I have a little bit of it in my hair right now. I do believe it absorbs all the oils. It, um, it has pretty much like everything I want from a dry shampoo. So if you're looking for something that's affordable, that's pretty texturizing and volumizing and absorbs all the oils and like refreshes your hair this is a great one it smells pretty good too um and so i am in love with this i probably have been through i don't know maybe over 20 bottles of this in the past like year or so my next thing is i repurchased one of my favorite deodorants just because i found the scent i really enjoy because last time i was at target they didn't have the scent and it's the secret deodorant with um the scent of paris rose I really enjoy the scent. I feel like it's so like refreshing, not too floral, not too sweet. It's very like just refreshing of a scent. Now last time I was in Target they didn't have the scent so the second I saw it I went ahead and grabbed it and I feel like this is my favorite deodorant. I have been using it for quite some time. This one and the Dove in the spray that has like the 100 colors, that one I really like when I am wearing like a really dark I don't know maybe like a spaghetti strap dress but this one for every day has been my favorite for quite some time now moving on to my favorite item that I have purchased from Target is a what I believe a new shade I haven't seen it in the past before but it's a nail polish color and this is in the shade showroom for one 172 and I have never seen this one before but this is one of my favorite formulas like in this twisted little bottle by Essie and I just love this color it's like a dusty denim blue but it's like a dusty like winter blue I absolutely love it I feel like if I put little tiny like white snowflakes it would be the cutest thing for winter time and so I have been in love with this nail polish shade it's for sure one of my favorite like top 10 shades and it is matte it has this is like two coats of this with the Essie gel polish top coat the white one the 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 one that comes in like a white bottle, I don't have it on me right now, but that's what's on top of it with two layers. And honestly, this one was super opaque, so I feel like you could even get away with just like one layer. But I always do two coats either way, and I just love it. I mean, it's not matching me right now, but like it is so beautiful. And so I have been obsessed. Oh, you can hear the little ball in there. Anyways, so moving on to the last item. Like I told you guys, I didn't like splurge and go all out. I don't even really have any makeup products in today's haul. But just kind of like things that I, you know, that you might need for a day-to-day -day basis. And so the last thing is I repurchased my Eco Tools um, sponges. And um, this one comes with it. It's a duo set. This one's smaller, but this one's damp right now and then you have a bigger one and i love 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 these sponges i honestly i like them better than the actual like beauty blender brand sponges um and i think they're a little bit more firm than the beauty blender sponges but i personally like that and these are my favorite sponges from the drugstore i probably bought maybe like two or three sets like in total I have a couple of these but every once in a while like I will go and repurchase like fresh ones and they are so great I think they were like under 10 bucks for two so it comes out to be 
like five bucks per sponge which in my opinion it's pretty affordable and the shape of these sponges like sorry this one's dirty i used it today but the shape of these sponges is really amazing because it has like two shaved sides but it has also like a tapered straight side so you can go directly under your eye or if you're setting with powder amazing amazing kind of like design of it they're super soft and even the little one because it seems much smaller in the package but when you dampen it it does grow and so you can definitely use even the little one not just for your under eyes but for your whole face and this one gets even bigger which I, I love this one as well just because you can apply your makeup that much faster with like the bigger like area space area and on the packaging it does say that it's cruelty free it's tree free paper and dermatologist tested made from eco foam technology and last thing I will say is the fact that they are pretty durable because I've had had these in the past and I've washed them like over I don't know maybe four or five times each and they don't like you know kind of break apart or get torn like some other sponges that I have used in the past do and so if you guys are looking for affordable makeup sponges these are absolutely great two thumbs up from me I would definitely highly recommend them as some of my favorite from the drugstore for sure and I guess that's it I know this was like a quicker video just because there isn't many items and I was looking through the aisles of makeup but there isn't any like new releases that caught my eye and so hopefully there's gonna be more drugstore launches in the new year hopefully fingers crossed and that's actually one of my goals for next year is to do more like drugstore makeup reviews just because like I said in the past like you know Sephora has all the testers you can go in and swatch and play around with and watch other like reviews but the drugstore has no testers and last thing I'm gonna shout out is to my little hoodie I got this at TJ Maxx it says beautiful and bossy and I love this one it has a cute little hoodie it was super affordable oh this looks spooky and fun oh my gosh I love it and I have been in love with this hoodie the letters are all like black glitter and so I really hope they don't kind of wash off when I like start washing it and I am just so so obsessed and so um that's it if you guys have purchased anything for Black Friday any sales anything in general from any type of beauty or makeup related store let me know in the comments down below let me know some of your guys's like drugstore favorites for like a day-to-day -day basis I would love to know and maybe try some other things out based on your guys's recommendations and so that'd be it for today i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend i am sending you guys lots of love from me to you stay happy stay positive and i will see you guys in my next video lots of love bye Mwah.